Hey guys, Kim here. So it is nine, almost 9.30. And this morning was one of those mornings where I got up, went for my swim, came home, showered, got myself like kind of put together. And then I saw Jackson sleeping on the couch. I saw my blanket and my pillow on the couch. And I curled up and went back to sleep for like an hour and a half until he woke up. And it was wonderful. I needed that extra little bit of sleep. Yesterday I went to the doctor because mainly I wanted to get some blood work done because I've just been feeling like maybe something's a little bit off with my system, with my hormones or levels of something. I don't know. I just want to get some blood work, especially like after having a baby. I feel like I might be depleted or deficient in something. So I want to get a full workup, which they did. And I also want to talk about my neck, obviously. And he didn't really do much except prescribe a bunch of pills, which I guess is what doctors do best. So I came home with all of this. Um, it's nothing too crazy. One is called naproxen, which is basically like really strong Motrin to help with the inflammation. So I'm taking that. This one is a muscle relaxer, which I don't really notice doing anything. I mean, maybe it helps a little bit, but it's worth a try. And then this one is like a pain medication. It's not like a narcotic, like it's not that strong, but it's pretty strong. And I took one yesterday and I felt good. Like it definitely took away the pain, not 100%, but I felt a lot less pain, but I got so sleepy <laughs> and then Jim got home and he said, you know, why don't you go up and lay down for a little bit. And as soon as I like turned off the lights and I hit the bed, I was out like out. I have not had that deep of a sleep in, I can't even tell you. Like I woke up drooling, like I didn't know what day it was. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know if it was morning or night. It was like that kind of deep sleep. So it's definitely not something I can take and still be able to function, but it's nice to have just for when the pain is so bad that I just can't even bear it. So none of this is like long-term solution. This is all just temporary to get me through this spasm and you know, figure out what else might help long-term. I don't know, we've talked about physical therapy, but I honestly don't think I have the time for it. I'm still doing the chiropractor and just trying to do some like at-home stretches and stuff to try to get it back to its normalness. But that was yesterday. Today, absolutely nothing planned, like absolutely nothing. I think my friend is gonna come over for a little while. That'll be nice. Um, that's about it. So, I don't know, we'll see what the day takes us, but I'm going to go make some coffee because I really want some coffee. First, I need to drink my water though. I have not had any water yet this morning, hence the man voice. I'm gonna go drink two bottles of water while I get my coffee ready and we'll see what the day takes us. So for coffee this morning, I'm having this chocolate cinnamon swirl. It's really, really good. I get this from Shop and Save, which is just our local grocery store. I've never seen this brand anywhere else, so I don't know where you can get it. It is $7.69, which is a lot for me to spend on coffee. I know that's like not a lot at all, but normally I get this from Aldi and I think it's like two something. It might even just be like $2. It's super cheap, but it's not good at all. It's just kind of blah, but that's usually what I use. But I treated myself and I got this, so I have that going. And then I'm using this milk, which is super fun. It is macadamia nut milk, so it's milkadamia. They did send me this. I don't know if you can buy it in stores. I'm not sure, you can check their website. Um, it's really good, this is the vanilla. It's really creamy and I like the taste of it a lot, but it doesn't froth, so it doesn't get like whipped and creamy it just gets hot if I put it in this thing so I just microwave some of it because I don't like to add cold milk to my coffee but that's the only downfall so I probably wouldn't buy it on a regular basis just because of the fact that I like creamy frothy milk in my coffee but it does taste really good and it's really good for baking so um, check it out here are the nutritionals if you're interested so a little bit higher in calories than like the cashew and almond milk, but I mean, seriously, it's <laughs> nothing that I would worry about. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have some coffee and I'm going to do a little bit of work over there with that little bug 
and wait until Annabelle wakes up. Good morning. Hey, Annabelle, what did you do to your tree? What happened to your tree on the wall? What happened to it? What's all this? Is this your tree? Yeah, did you peel your tree apart last night? Yeah, yeah. why'd you do that? <laughs> it's okay, do we not need a tree in your room anymore? No, can we just take it down? Sure. Yeah, we always have a tree over there. And we still have elephants and giraffes and a little owl. So I guess we don't need this tree anymore. <laughs> Okay, and this little guy is just over here cracking up. He's getting like more and more awake now. He doesn't just sleep all day. Is that funny? He thinks this is funny. I don't know why. Oh, yeah? Hey! You laughing at these little things? Wow. So easy to entertain. Oh, oh there's two. Annabelle loves baking, which is a great thing. Like, I love it. Obviously, I bake all the time. When she goes to my mom's house, they bake cookies and brownies and all kinds of stuff. And so she always wants to bake. And I don't always have time to bake with her. Like, sometimes I'm doing work or doing something else, but she, like, really, really wants to bake something. She just comes up and she gets her little whisk and her spoon and her spatula, and she's like, I want to bake. And I'm like, oh, okay. So my dad had this amazing idea that he did with her yesterday, which I thought was just genius. And I was like kind of surprised my dad thought of it. Like, no offense dad, but when he told me about it, I was like, that's such a great idea. So I'm not gonna tell you about it. I'm just gonna show you how me and Annabelle bake. Okay, so we got our bowl and Annabelle's little tools and we're gonna use this pan. And you guys are gonna laugh when you see the ingredients. We're gonna use chocolate chips, sprinkles, Ovaltine, oats, and baking powder. And we're gonna see if Annabelle wants to bake. Annabelle, do you wanna come bake? Yeah. Yeah. What do you wanna bake? Cake. Cake? Do you wanna make a ho-ho? Yeah. Should we try to bake a ho-ho? Okay, you wanna get your stool? You need your apron? All right, we'll get your apron and go get your stool. Okay, you wanna get your stool set up? Yeah, my stool set up. Good job. You got your apron on. Okay, you gonna help me? Yeah, my co-help. Okay, you ready? Yeah. What do you wanna add first? Dad. Ovaltine? Okay, let's get a scoop. Yep, good. Okay, dump it in. Dump. Okay, now what? Yeah. What's next? Dump. This? Oatmeal? Okay, I do a big scoop. Roll the soup. Dump it in. All right, now what? That. What are these? Do you know what these are? Chocolate chips. Okay, we need a big scoop of those. Okay, now what next? Baking powder? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need some of that. Okay, dump it in. And what else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Sprinkles? Yeah. Okay. Mine. Okay, dump Mine. them in. No. Do you think we should add some water? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of water to mix it all up. Uh -huh. Okay. 
in. All right. Okay. It's your mixer. Okay, mix it all up. Here you go. Me. Looks good. Is it ready? Yes. Okay. Show them what it looks like. See, there's our batter. Wait. All ready to go. We gotta pour it in the pan, right? Wait. You help me? Yeah. I get it all in there. All right. Ready to go in the oven? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Ready to go in the oven. Yeah. Okay, you ready to put it in? Yeah. Go ahead, put it on the top shelf. Okay, and help me close it up. We gotta wait for five minutes, okay? Beep beep, be here. Whenever it goes beep beep, that's when it's done. Do you think it's done? Yes, I do. We wanna open up the oven? Yep. Okay. Wait, you. Okay. Ha <gasps> ha! <gasps> Let's get it out. Okay. <sighs> what did we make? Ha Did you bake that? Yes, ha Good job. Is it good? Yes, good job baking. Yeah. Can mommy have a bite? Oh, thank you, honey. So I just think that is the best idea ever. Like, kudos to my dad. That is just genius. And she absolutely loves it. She gets so excited. The hardest part is distracting her so I can switch out the ho-ho obviously but i don't know i just love it. it takes like 10 minutes and she gets to bake she gets to eat a ho-ho it's a win-win so now i need to go to the store and like stock up on little debbie snack cakes and like my dad did it with m&ms and just put like heart-shaped thing of m&ms and she thought that she baked m&ms and it's it's adorable so now that we are done baking, I'm gonna go get a little bit more work done and we'll see you in a bit. Work over here taking pictures of protein bars with my phone for Instagram story and it really makes me wanna get the new iPhone 10 or whatever it's called, just the new iPhone because for story pictures, you have to use your phone. You can't use your computer and like import them and my camera just isn't that good and I see pictures with like Jim's camera and he just has the plus the 7 plus maybe I don't know but mine doesn't take very good pictures and I really want the new one but I cannot justify spending that much for a phone but I am taking a tea break and I got this tea from Susan Susan sent it a while ago it's peppermint chocolate and I have never seen this brand anywhere I've said that before it's the Republic of Tea I feel like maybe I've seen some of them at Giant Eagle, but not all the fun flavors that she has sent. So I'm gonna give it a try. It's caffeine free, which makes me super excited. And I did two tea bags, five Splenda, and some of that milk, the macadamia nut milk, to basically cool it down a little bit. And I don't really like black tea. I like a little bit of milk in my tea. Mm, it smells very minty. It doesn't really smell chocolatey. That's really, really good. It does taste chocolatey. It tastes really good. I might actually add a little bit of like chocolate syrup to it to make it more chocolatey, but you can definitely taste chocolate and mint. That's really good. I wish I had some thin mint cookies <laughs> to go with it. Actually, I don't. I don't really like thin mint cookies that much. Call me crazy. I like the the s'mores ones, the Girl Scout cookies, and the um, tagalongs, are they really called? Like with the peanut butter covered in chocolate. I don't know, I haven't had a Girl Scout cookie in quite some time. I don't know any Girl Scouts, so... Bummer. If you have any Girl Scout cookies, you can send them my way. I will, I will eat them. Um, anywho, I'm gonna go drink my tea, finish taking pictures of protein bars, and I'll see you in a bit. So I am in a super snacky mood, so I'm gonna have three different things because I couldn't decide which one. So first, I'm gonna have this bag of little pretzel sticks. They're nothing special really they're just little pretzel sticks probably gonna dip that in some cream cheese then I'm gonna have some of these honey Dijon pretzels they're just like the little pretzel nuggets let me see if I can show you 
I'm sure you guys have all seen pretzel <laughs> nuggets before, so nothing, nothing too exciting there. Is it exciting? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you spit the bank? <laughs> all right, good job. And then I'm going to have some of these. These are the enlightened broad bean crisps. These are the barbecue ones, and these are the only flavor I like. I've tried the cinnamon and chocolate and all the other flavors. The barbecue are the only ones that I like. Do you want one? I don't think so. So I'm going to have some of those. I'm going to have this drink. I've shown these before. They're like the bubbler sparkling water drinks. It won't focus. There we go. So yeah, just one of these. They actually just sent me like two cases. So I'm super excited. I've been drinking at least one every day. And then for a little sweet treat, I'm gonna have two of these Twizzlers. These are the apple, caramel apple ones that I still have stashed what? from Halloween and they're really, really good. You wanna try one? I don't think you're gonna like it, but you can try one. Mommy has more. Here, this one's yours. Can you pull it out? Pull, pull, pull. You take a little bite? I'm just gonna play with it. Might be a little too hard for you. <laughs> Do you like it? No, I didn't think so. Can mommy have it back then? Thank you, I'll still eat it even though you slobbered on it. What do you want to eat? Food, what kind of food? <laughs> what do you want to eat? can't eat that. No. What do you want to eat? <laughs> Cheese? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Me and Sleepy Bug Annabelle are watching Beauty and the Beast. She's upset right now because she wants a binky and we said what? Binkies are only for nap time and bedtime, right? No. <laughs> probably gonna give in and give it to her soon. We're trying to slowly transition into no more binkies, but we're not doing it cold turkey. And it's almost nap time, so I think I think we'll be able to get one for her. But I did want to say thank you very much for watching. Wanna say thanks for watching? So give the video a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Do you want to go get a beep? Okay. Get a binky and take a nap. Oh, you ate. Yeah.